<coughs> uh, I've been so sick, you guys, but <coughs> welcome to my beautiful channel. <laughs> my name is Oshun, and yes, we are talking about witchcraft today. <laughs> now, some of you guys, I, I understand that witchcraft has a very, like, world-renowned negative stigma behind it. Because in the past, all the, all the time people hear about stories of witches being burned at the stake, they do magic, that they always worship Satan, things like that. But I am here to tell you that it's not the case, my friend. <laughs> <clears throat> Witchcraft is a broad spectrum of practices or rituals or um, magic or what, whatever you're trying to... Like, there's many different revenues of witchcraft. And... I like to relate it back, and people have different ideas of this. I like to relate it back to a lot of pagan beliefs. Um, a lot of uh, re beliefs that even Native Americans have. Um, all the natural religions ever had at one point. As far as like, um, you ever hear of witch doctors and people who heal by natural herbs. Um, people who believe nowadays witchcraft is considered the people who use tarot cards or collect crystals or wear crystals, um, use sage, things like that. It's a really cutesy way of looking at witchcraft nowadays. But <clears throat> witchcraft, like anything else, is what you think it is. So it's like you you pick your ritual basically. Like when you're a witch, per se, and it's not just it's, it's anyone can be a witch, not just women. Um, basically, you pick what rituals and magic you want to use, and you choose whether it's you want to use it for good or bad. And I feel like we use magic on a daily basis, uh, whether we realize it or not. A lot of religions use rituals already, they just call it what they call it. Prayer is a form of a uh, ritual. Um, singing is a form of ritual, candles, a lot of religions have that already, um, altars, the same thing with witchcraft, we, a lot of witches do similar things, um, just in their own way, the thing about witchcraft is, it, it's, it's unique to the individual, or like paganism, or anything of that, along those lines, it's unique to the individual, the individual gets to choose, you know, who or what they want to worship, um, you know, it's very, it's very uh, unique to you and your spirituality is how you choose to praise the divine, the you, the God, the universe, or whatever. Um, and you have a lot of people who don't fuck with witchcraft because they they're ignorant to the knowledge of it. I have very little research on it, but I know I, like a little bit, and I'm intuitive about it, so I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, <clears throat> but magic. Um, it's really fun to me um, because I feel like it's much like the law of attraction. Um, we use magic on a daily basis, again, whether we realize it or not, by what we think or, or put our intent and belief in a lot of times. And a lot of times it's all that witchcraft is, is putting your belief and intent into spells or magic or candles and uh, burning, burning writings or release letters, things like that. Um, so magic can play a really important part in our life. As far as individuals because I feel like I also believe in alchemy where we can take and utilize energies around us and create it to something tangible and to the physical realm and a lot of times for example I take negative energy and transmute it into something positive a lot of alchemists choose to do that um, and yeah so <laughs> if you guys want to know more on that though uh, leave down questions that you want to know specifically about alchemy and magic and stuff like that <clears throat> and just basically touching on the basics because I just wanted to make a video like this um so um witchcraft isn't just this like you know oh you you sacrifice um animals or people or something crazy kind of ordeal um psychics and mediums and all that could fall under that realm because they do have a lot of powerful gifts um, so, but not all people deem themselves witches. They might just say, oh, I'm a psychic medium, oh, I'm an empath, oh, I'm a this or that. Um, but it also depends on, like, what you're drawn to, because some people are, like, wholeheartedly in that realm, and some people are just dabbling in it here and there. Um, I kind of like a person that kind of dabbles in it here and there, but I do feel like, intuitively, I have a long lineage of witchcraft. Um, and sisterhood. The sisterhood, to me, um... 
intuitively I feel like a sisterhood is a collective of women that come together and use their magic to to for the highest good of themselves or others around them <clears throat> so for me my ideal of having a sisterhood would be trying to find a clique of women who vibe on my same frequency who do magic or believe in it and we basically use that to whatever goal we all have in mind one of the most beautiful things I did um uh, in a sisterhood kind of scenarios when um back when i lived in florida we had a dream board party and all the women got together and made dream boards it was just such a good energy and everyone supported one another and at the end of it <clears throat> we all released balloons wrote down our fears on balloons and we released it i believe it was like a full moon or some kind of moon phase um <clears throat> but basically to me that was a ritual in itself and a sisterhood scenario so the sisterhood to me is like a group of witches or a group of women and it doesn't always have to be women a group of women who who come and support each other and you know they shine and allow each other to shine and um in return that kind of fuels each other's energy and makes them more powerful um and i believe <clears throat> a lot of women were torn apart because of this or how we are drawn to look as competitors with one another because I feel like a lot of magic and power lies within the female community, but we don't get to experience that much anymore unless you grow up in a situation where this is celebrated. But yeah, that's my little insight on <laughs> witchcraft, magic, and the sisterhood. Um, if you have any more questions, so I know it may not have been that like <laughs> um, uh, like detailed because I'm still learning about it myself, but it's really what you make it like anything so like anything in life is what you make it so if you want to use certain tools for good or bad or whatever there is no right and wrong there's just the way you choose to use it um there is a lot of people who want to condemn you if you do use things for uh witchcraft or things for bad reasons but who are we to tell somebody what to do or how to live their life even if we deem it bad honestly life is duality and <clears throat> good and bad kind of weigh each other out you don't have to be the person to use anything for bad obviously if that's like against your religion or it doesn't resonate with you um but yeah <laughs> and the same with me i understand that okay i choose to use my tarot readings to help others but that's not necessarily what everyone has in mind um but yeah <laughs> with that being said be dope be unapologetically peace